Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be something that I never ever thought I'd be doing, but here we are. So as you guys know, um, I just recently purchased the entire new collection from Wet n Wild and I've posted about it. I posted pictures of it on Instagram, pretty much everywhere. And I have to say, until last night, I was really, really excited. I was so excited to use these products. I was so excited for this release because hello, Mermaid. I'm about Mermaid everything. And Wet n Wild, honestly, is one of my all-time favorite brands. I absolutely love Wet n Wild. It's it's very, very rare that I ever find a product from them that I don't like. I posted on Twitter last night, I think it was. Yeah, it was last night that you guys might be surprised by this video. Just because my reaction to the products we're going to be talking about is very negative, which is very rare for me with Wet n Wild. I have an entire collection, an entire drawer full of Wet n Wild products that I just, I love so much. And if you guys would like to see a video on my Wet n Wild favorites, let me know down below. But in today's video, this is definitely going to be a Wet n Wild miss like the biggest miss like the biggest L I've ever seen a brand take ever now obviously everyone's going to have different opinions and different viewpoints on different products I understand that but normally when I pick up products from the drugstore especially I of course like to go back before I purchase them and watch reviews from the influencers just to see what these people say about things and the majority of the videos that I watched from the influencers who did post reviews and swatch videos of this box were predominantly of course positive and I took some notes on what people were saying versus what I had experienced with these products I will share those notes with you guys and I will explain thoroughly as to why I feel the way I feel about all these products I of course do not want you guys to think that my review is the end-all be-all by any means I don't feel that's that's the way things are this is just the way I feel about these products now whether or not you believe me or believe them is up to you obviously different people have different reactions to certain things and everyone Everyone's gonna have a different reaction to makeup and how it applies to their face so please do not think that my opinion should be the deciding factor on whether or not you purchase this these products this entire collection if you choose to not everything is a fucking loss in this box there are two products that I actually really do like but like I said I will go more in depth with that in the video itself so without further ado let's just get into it look at this hair like what the fuck is going on here but anyways, uh, so this is the Midnight Mermaid limited edition collection box from Wet n Wild. This retailed for $34, I'm pretty sure. As far as I know, it is still available online and in-store actually at Walgreens. As far as anywhere else, I went to Rite Aid last night and did not see it in Rite Aid. As far as CVS, I can't speak for CVS, but I do know that Walgreens for the most part usually is the first drugstore to get the Wet n Wild limited edition products. Number one thing that I really do like about this is the pack. Packaging. I'm loving the holographic look that it has. I've actually used the Unicorn Glow Box. The back of it is full holographic and I've been using it on my Instagram as like a background for different product shoots. So I love, 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 love the packaging. This is what you get in the box. As you can see, you get a lot of product. You get four liquid eyeshadows, four lippies, three eyeliners, and then of course you get the big highlighter bar right down here, which I, I really do like that one, but we'll get to that in a second. So I guess the first place we can start with as far as putting this on our face is going to of course be the eyeshadows and because we're going to be using wet and wild eyeshadows I wanted to go through my collection and of course use wet and wild eyeshadows now unfortunately two of these three palettes are not available anymore this one is actually a very rare palette they did away with it officially last year sometime this is the blue had me at hello palette I absolutely love this palette so much I love wet and wild eyeshadows powder eyeshadows. I think they're some of the best as far as quality and pigmentation and honestly for the price tag you cannot go wrong with them. The only palette that is currently available as far as I know at Walmart, I cannot speak for every store obviously, but I've seen this palette over and over again and many times in many different Walmarts. This is the I'm His Breezy palette and we're going to be taking this shade right here and we're going to put that into the crease, but I'm also going to mix it with this Embrace Obscurity palette, which 
again was a limited edition and for the most part if you are new to Wet n Wild, if you are shopping around for your first purchase, the way you can pretty much tell a product is limited edition is if it is in white packaging. So I'm going to go ahead and buff in both this light almost like electric blue alongside this blue right here. We're going to mix those two and just blend them into the crease and I'll be right back. To the blue had me at hello palette and pick up this royal deep like jewel tone blue i love this color so much i'm using a more precise fluffy brush to blend that into the crease area this brings us to the first product in this collection that we're going to be using and that is going to be the liquid eyeshadows the liquid eyeshadow i'm going to be using is in the shade aquatic prism i don't know if you guys can see how beautiful the shade is in the tube i'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys because honestly when swatched again it's very very beautiful but this is aquatic prism right here I'm going to add one more layer to it now that it's sat for a couple seconds on my hand and this only intensifies it like it's a beautiful shade. As you can see it's got a beautiful duo chrome you can see like the almost purplish shade there and then it goes into like a darkish black into the beautiful turquoise you see here. I just I love this so much if the formula was better I would love 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 these because the color itself is gorgeous obviously it's so gorgeous when swatched however when you actually use it it's a completely different story and I'll show you guys why right now the formula itself is so hard to work with because number one you have very little time to blend it doesn't let you blend easily and even if you kept reapplying and blending as you went you just find yourself in a circle of just fuckery because no matter what you do it just does not allow you to blend it out which makes it very hard for you to create a look that actually looks good it took me at least 45 minutes to get it to look at least a little bit blended out you can kind of still see the harsh line in my crease area which is something that I never want ever to wear on my face which is such a shame because of how beautiful it is besides that the other huge issue I have with these liquid eyeshadows is this we're gonna blend 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 and you can start to see product going away that fucking sucks As you can see, you're watching this brush scrape it off. So it's definitely the brush and not me closing and opening my eyes. So... I'm not sure if it was because I was using a synthetic brush or if that even makes a difference. I don't really think it's supposed to because I've never had problems blending out gelée formulas, liquid formulas, whatever the case may be as far as like formulas that are not powder. I always prefer to use synthetic brushes because they're made for products like that. We're gonna go ahead and just apply this to the lid. Like I said, you're gonna have to let it set for a couple of seconds. It does not take very long at all. Some people suggested kind of like flick your wrist to kind of create a kind of a blending effect with this shadow but that does nothing but create more messes for you so I'm just gonna stick to the one layer because with one layer you've got full pigment it's fucking beautiful and it's such a shame it does not work well with other shadows because the one thing I would love to do is create a full blue look like I have today and have it look good but I want it to be blended out and smoky and just so like beautiful but it's impossible to create it with these shadows now beyond this just being a mess because it doesn't stick to your lid when you're blending in other shadows to it to use in conjunction with these shadows, it also creates a problem because as you're blending you're of course flaking away all the eyeshadow and that can create a mess on your actual foundation. So if I were you I would do your eyeshadow first in conjunction with these eyeshadows and then do your face just because you're going to have a lot of fallout. Now because I don't want to be a shady bitch and only show you the one shadow, I'm going to go ahead and swatch, do live swatches of the other ones. This next one is in the shade Lara's Necklace. It's a beautiful green. We'll put this one here. There's the first layer of it. As you can see, once again, very, very pretty. This next one is like a blackish brownish gold color. It's very pretty. It's called Mysterious Nights. We'll put this one right here. 
It looks kind of similar to Laura's necklace, but this one definitely has more of the brownish taupey color to it. And the last one we have is more of the purple and gold. This one is in Moonlight Majesty. We'll put her right here. So the next thing I did was my eyeliner. However, I am not going to be using the eyeliners in this box because I feel like they really, really went the cheap route with these brushes. The collection comes with three different eyeliners and I have to say the color selection is, I mean, aside from these two, the gray doesn't make any sense. I would have gone with a black or like a really shimmery black, you know what I mean? To kind of go with the whole glittery thing we've got going on with this collection. I don't understand why the gray was necessary Necessary, but it is what it is right off the bat. I knew I was not gonna like these because the brush itself is super Flimsy these I thought were gonna be the nice felt tip liners Because the mega liner line actually has two different brush types you have the felt tip and these these are the shitty ones Unless you are somebody who is very very experienced with very flimsy brushes and you can create the most perfect perfect cat eye like sharp ass wing with little to no effort using these brushes these are not going to be good for you and I have to tell you right now I really had high hopes they would have used the felt tip option because the felt tip options are a lot easier to use they're easier to work with and I feel like they gather a lot more product and they keep the product in it a lot longer that way you're only using like one pump of this product as opposed to using like three or four different dips into it so like I said I'm gonna go first with one big dip in I'm I'm not gonna wipe it. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Bitch, shut up. So I'm gonna go into this product with one dip. As you can see, it is covered. Once again, this is Trident's Shimmer, the silver or metal option or gray option. One right here. So this is what it looks like blended out. As you can see, it's very, very streaky. There really isn't pigmentation to it. The next one is Sea Dreams. It is a beautiful color blue. There's the same brush put this one right here and we'll blend her out a little bit so you guys can see. The last one is Sea Symmetry and it is this like teal green color. We'll put this one right here. All right, so I did my liners and the bottom lash line of this eye. So now we're gonna move on to the lippies because I do wanna swatch those for you guys as well so you can see live swatches of them. There are four different lippies and the one I used in my first impression is this first one in the shade Sea Seduction. These are advertised as metallic matte lipsticks. Now, with that being said, I see these as more of a matte lipstick than metallic. There really is a metallic into these at all. I'll go ahead and swatch these for you, of course, just so you guys can see them. The one thing I do love about these is the brush. I love these little doe foot indented applicators. I think they're really, really nice for really hugging the lip, the entire lip, and getting full opacity with one swatch. And the formula of these is actually very nice. When I compare them to my regular line, Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipsticks, these actually feel a lot more comfortable on the lips compared to those. I'm not exactly sure what they did differently. Like I said, this first one is in the shade C Seduction, and I'll put her right here. As you can see, these are beautifully pigmented with one swatch. The next one is in the shade Siren's Jewel, and it's this beautiful dark forest metallic green. Then we have Harbor A Crush. And lastly, we have Coral Crown. I was not going to use the liquid lipsticks in here, but I figured we're already doing a full review. Let's just go ahead and do one. So I'm going to use Coral Crown as my lippy for today. Now on the lips, these actually feel very nice. Like I said earlier, these feel a lot more creamier, a lot more comfortable on the lips, not drying whatsoever as far as I've felt as of right now. And I'm actually, I do like them. Let's go into the highlight bar itself since I really have not used this yet at all actually. I pretty much didn't even touch it. I'm gonna take my highlighting brush. This is the one I use every day. And we're gonna just slightly pick up some product like so. And we're gonna go ahead and just pop this. I 
love this highlighter. I think it's very, very pretty. All right, guys. So now for my final thoughts with the entire collection as a whole. As you guys saw, I went through every product, showed you guys swatches of everything, and I used everything on my face that I could use on my face. And I have to tell you right now, I, I just, I really don't think this product is worth the price that it has. I feel like Wet n Wild tried to rush a product launch because as we all know, the makeup community as far as the brands, everyone's releasing holographic everything, metallic everything. Like that is what is popular right now. Like they could have perhaps taken some more time to perfect formulas, especially when it comes to these liquid eyeshadows because these have the potential to be so good. They could be so much better than what they are, but they just, there's no point in using them in conjunction with other shadows because all they do is just blend away when you're using them. So unless you plan on using these shadows on their own with no other eyeshadows, which could work for you if you can figure out a look that you can rock with just the one eyeshadow, I mean, why the fuck not? But these could have been so much more than what they are as far as formula. The pigmentation is there. I don't give a fuck about pigmentation when it comes to things like these because I can build a product up. As long as it's good and as long as the formula is there as far as quality, I can build, I don't mind building a product to get it really pigmented. But when you have a product like this that is pigmented with one swatch, but it's impossible to work with in conjunction with other eyeshadows, especially powder eyeshadows, I mean, it just it's not good you know what I mean and I feel like they definitely rushed this collection because they had just released that unicorn glow for summer and then they came out with this shit you know what I mean so it had to have been maybe like a month or two in between both that's a very short amount of time to come out with an entire collection and then just throw it out for sale I really wish they would have put more thought into the formulas as far as these eyeshadows because like I said these could have been so so good. The eyeliners, guys, these were a miss for me as a whole because they just, they're not good. The brushes are shit. The color really isn't there. Unless you're really, really talented with using flimsy brushes and you don't mind having to work for a wing, you're not gonna like these. And that's just, that's just that. The liquid lipsticks and the highlighter bar, lastly, both of these products I think are redeeming as far as the entire collection as a whole. Just because the liquid lipsticks, even though they're not really metallic in any way, shape, or form because it is advertised as a metallic matte, whatever that means, but this just feels so good on my lips. If they could create a formula with the pigmentation of both of these, because they're both pigmented, but use this formula with the regular line ones, I would have the entire collection of them because because the color selection they have is beautiful. Now speaking of the highlighting bar, once again you guys, you guys saw me put it on my cheeks. I mean, it is blinding, it's beautiful. It's a color that can work with most every skin tone. However, like I said, if you're more on the like really, really fair side, I would definitely avoid it because it will create just a yellow stripe on the tops of your cheeks. But I mean, overall guys, I, I have to say, unfortunately, the collection itself is definitely a miss for me. Just because the highlighting bars and the liquid lipsticks work for me does not mean I'm gonna sit here and just kiss wet and wild's ass and say how good it is. The majority of what they produced for this collection is shit. I love wet and wild. Wet and wild is one of my favorite brands in the drugstore but I feel like they definitely rushed the release of this collection. They could have done a lot more with it. I feel like if they could have come out with just like maybe even just the two liquid eyeshadows, uh, one eyeliner, and the whole four collection of liquid lipsticks and the highlighting bar, that would have been good if they would have taken the time to create a good product and then release it but not just you know just a, don't just release a product a collection of products for that matter a few months after the last collection which is right up there like I have both of them I love wet and wild I, I just I don't think this box is worth the price that it has attached to it so but anyways guys I am going to get on out of here I've got a few more videos to do for today but overall guys I don't think you should waste your money on this collection. If you see the highlighting bar, if you see the liquid lipsticks in the store, 
pick one of those and pick them up because those I think are the two redeeming products in this entire box but as for everything else I mean it's just definitely definitely is a huge fail for me so with that being said guys I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did give it a thumbs up if you have any requests for future videos or if you want to see different products used in a future video leave those down below as well and lastly guys as always if you guys want to start a conversation about my opinion on the products down below if perhaps you purchased the collection yourself what did you like about it what did you not like about it tell me why and why not down below and I will see you guys in my next video I love you guys so so much bye